Hello there and welcome. How is everyone doing today? You guys ready for some forwards? Because we're going to be playing some forwards. If you guys haven't caught up, there's been a brand new update. A revamp, a re and a new pass on all of the commanders. Almost all of the commanders. A lot of them have brand new out here. Am I a robot? I'm a robot. Uh, I scream. I fixed this not five minutes ago. All right, all right. How is this? This much better? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I just needed to reset the drivers real quick. Nothing, nothing too critical. It happens every so often. Like, it's really unfortunate. But hey, you know, it is what it is. All right, so... Beautiful. Excellent. So we're going to be playing some... I'm going to go ahead and restart that because welcome, everyone. Welcome to Forts. We're going to be playing a lot of Forts tonight. Uh, because if you guys haven't kept up, there's been a brand new update. Brand new update and a pass on all the commanders. You know what that means? That means new content. We actually have new weapons added in. The AP minigun, for example. Really quite cool and enjoyable to play around with. So we're going to be trying out all of the commanders once again. See how it works out. Uh, for this one, I'm actually going to be lowering the match size. Instead of having our eight players going down to four. So we're at a nice 2v2 battle here. Uh, that's in mostly well, for two reasons, really. Uh, one, it gives us a better chance of having experienced players that can actually know what the commanders are and to get things done. Uh, also... The commanders in this game are flavor rather than game defining, I think is a is a good way to describe it. Uh, when you have larger matches like your 4v4, at the end of the day, whoever get whichever team gets 12 cannons is the one that's gonna win regardless of your commanders. So if you only have a 2v2, the commander to cannon ratio is a is a bit higher. Makes it easier to actually showcase the commander stuff. Like, if you're going to play, for example, Armadillo, that's all fine and dandy. You get bonus metal and bonus armors. There's no amount of bonus armor that's going to save you from 12 cannons. But if you only have 6 cannons of the other team, you've got a fighting chance. So we'll go ahead and hop into this first match right here and get this party started. <laughs> some commanders help you get 12 cannons. This is true. So we're just going to be playing some good old vanilla. Uh, this is the wrong map. Did I not change the map? I'm not, I did not change the map. Okay, let's go to vanilla. Filters, 2v2. That should be good. Excellent. <clears throat> Beautiful. How do we get this game on mobile? You can't find it. This is not a mobile game. I cannot imagine even attempting to play this on mobile. That would be a miserable experience. It would have to be probably entirely redesigned. Look at the teams. Hey, no one, res no one here is ranked. We'll be fine. It looks like we're going to start off with Armadillo here. Oh my. So Armadillo, he's all about defenses. He gets additional uh, benefits to building all of his armor. Let's see here. Less metal to build and repair armor and shields. Door speed increased by 100%. Armor and door mass decreased by 50%. So armor is not the heaviest thing in the world. And many guns can be upgraded to fire arming, armor piercing projectiles, which we are absolutely going to play around with. So let's just go ahead and uh, jump right into this. When is your next Titanfall 2 stream? I am very unlikely to play Titanfall 2 on stream, as basically that's the end of that. As much as it is a great game and I love it, um, it doesn't do well on the channel. People just don't like playing it. I do regularly play it off stream. It's just not something you can expect to see on stream just because people aren't playing it or people aren't interested in watching it. And that's the end of that. Or that's just how that goes. Welcome to... Welcome to, uh... Welcome to the world.
Nah, we just we just go. I see this is not the standard vanilla, I don't think. As much as it says it is. I don't think pen swing works here. Because this is technically not vanilla 2v2, this is a modded version with a better better wind floor. I don't think pen swing works on this one. I think the mass reduction of the armor swing. We didn't have any armor included in that. But that was a proper pen swing. Oh well, we'll see how this works out. So here we have on the left hand side, Samster Birdies playing with the Armadillo Commander. Looks like he's going... Oh, I know what he's doing. Uh, he's in the position that I wanted to be in. I think we're going to have to go into proper vanilla 2v2. But he's going to have some good old fun here. He's playing around the weapon choice that... Uh, well, that isn't available to anyone else. Commander specific, it would seem. Oh my. What am I using for my microphone? An audio interface? Uh, for my microphone, I have a... What is this? An audio technica... Is, I can't remember if it's 20 or 2025. That's uh, the XLR version. I have plugged into a, a sound blaster... Wait, did I did I upgrade that to... I, I recently upgraded it. It's a sound blaster... Ooh, let me get you the actual... Number. It is a sound blaster. One of the sound blaster Z series, I believe it was. Or was it AE set? Where was it the AE series? Sound blaster. Yeah, it was the AE seven. Is the is the audio card? That's that's that is what I am using. Oh my! So these have been revealed. It looks like. You can see the difference in the upgrades. Every one of those bullets is armor piercing. Is the music different? Yes. Surprise, if you guys haven't noticed. Oh, he's got armor piercing minigun too. So it is armadillo versus armadillo. And uh, looks like our one player armadillo is winning for the moment. Let's see how that, see how that changes a bit. Oh, that's good for him. My teammate destroyed all the turbines there, which is going to make his life a lot, lot easier. Mostly because these guys actually take 500 energy to fire. The standard miniguns only take 300. For those asking about the new update, it is an update to the commanders. All the commanders and their abilities have been reworked. It's really quite interesting. I love the idea. Ooh. We have a shutdown on that one. Oh, regular miniguns. Still very good versus miniguns. I think Samster's in a bad way here. I don't think he can survive this. Not for much longer. But new music? Yes, I spent most of the day looking for new music. Did not find a whole lot. Um, the whole Creative Commons market is very small. And um, the amount of people who will actually respond to you, or the amount of artists that will respond to you about licensing music, a lot smaller. Like, even Odd Chap with the glorious list of Electro Swing has not responded, so I cannot keep. I cannot use his music, which makes me sad. But hey, you know, all we can do is just keep searching. So make sure to check out these great artists. Look in the bottom right corner where the music, music ticker is. I'm really contemplating putting a background on the music ticker. Like, don't get me wrong, uh, it's good. But not having a background for it means it's just kind of text scrolling over other things. Odd Chap is best for Electro Swing? Ah, uh, he's definitely up there. He's definitely up there. Warning, nuclear launch detected. Oh, hello there. Kalijah. 
coming in with the nuclear launch. Can we get some love in chat for Kalaja kicking us off? Greetings, Incursus. With nice the first, I hope the first you have mega ton of support. Love the forts and hope to see some more among us as well. Oh, oh, me too. Oh, me too. I need to get another group. I need to get another group together for some Among Us videos. Those are so much fun. Poor Samster, I left him alone. I always forget, like, the pet swing, it works on one very specific map. Outside of that, it doesn't work. It really doesn't work. Oh dear. To be honest, you really appreciate being able to look at the stream and not miss anything because the camera or something randomly placed. Yeah, that's why I leave the music ticket. Like all of my, all the things I have added onto the screen. I have my icon. I always have the logo somewhere, like bottom left, uh, one of the corners. In forts, I keep it bottom left because you're not missing anything over there. And I also have the music ticker on the screen. I don't have a background on it, so you can actually see behind it. Like if you want the music ticker, you know where it is. It's always right here on the bottom right. But it's not blocking anything. Not that there's anything here to block, but still. Hello there. Kroniak coming in and joining the incursion. Congratulations, friend. You've just gained access to all the beautiful emotes here in the channel, as well as the special access role on Discord. Welcome to the party. Go ahead and sh try out some of those emotes. Dangerously funny incursion server. The Among Us detectives. Yeah, I'm okay with this. I like being the detective kind. Looks like he's memorized the mechanics of most of the tasks. Actually, I spent, before I did the first Among Us recording, I spent literal hours memorizing as much as I could about the game and all the tasks. So that's not, not far off from the truth. Uh, PBSA, go onto the Discord and put it in the suggestions chat. I appreciate the attempt. I'm not going to remember it. And uh, I have no real way of going back in chat after the stream. But if you put it in the Discord suggestions, it will be there for me to see after the stream. And curses is such a tryhard. I mean, you're not wrong. It's just what I enjoy. I like the task of memorizing things. I like the task of... It's a feels-good moment to be able to memorize and work through everything. It's like it's like flying in the ESF in Planet Side Two or playing any anything StarCraft. The the visceral feeling of getting good, it it has its own tactile enjoyment. Yes, I see the post. Thank you so much for posting that in suggestions. I will definitely check that out after stream. If you understand correctly, you tried the core swing and died. Is he winning that 1v2? That is correct on both accounts, I think. But in terms of winning the 1v2, not quite. Uh, he's not dying, but he's also slowly dying. I put it in Discord and just nuke it in Super Chat 15 times. I mean, if you're gonna make it that memorable, that's a solid. I probably, probably remember it at that point. But it's just a lot easier if you post, put it in the suggestions, suggestions channel in Discord. It's a stalemate in Team 2's favor. Yes, that anti air is too much. It is, and that's kind of the problem with going minigun rush, which Samster did. Uh, minigun rush is difficult to transition out of. At least, it's difficult to transition out of before your opponents do something else. Which means you end up on the back foot. Which is what we have here. Ooh, the 20 mil makes a difference. Oh, that's really up there. Minigun rushing in 1v2 is even harder. Yeah, I would say minigun rushing in 1v2 is just not a thing. But he was doing it before I died, so that's my fault.
the Samster. Poor Samster. This is how it ends. Is that gonna do it? I think that's it. Yep, there's the collapse. Alright, so we'll try that again. This time, a map, not not this one. We'll do a proper vanilla 2v2, vanilla large. Right. I don't like... I prefer the modded vanilla large. Okay, let's just check the 4v4 and go into vanilla. Here we go. This is same positions, everything, just themed a little bit differently, and proper vanilla. Uh, do we want to pick a different commander? Like, Pinch Fist is just hilariously powered. Like, we've done so much Pinch Fist. Uh, let's try... Let's see if we can try some Spook. I don't mind Contested, as long as it's not Overdrive. <laughs> Between as long as it's not overdrive, not pinch fists, I just want to try out some of these new commanders or new commander adjustments, shall we say? I've heard Firebird actually got a pretty nice upgrade. What am I looking for? Like this Firebird got a nice upgrade. Phantom is interesting because it now cloaks your fort during your active, which is hilarious. And which one was it? Which one was? Which is another one I wanted to look at? Um. It wasn't wasn't this one. Ooh, which one was it? Yes, Shock and Awe. Love your content. Looks hilarious. Shock and Awe sounds amazing. Well, welcome, Peter. Welcome to the chat. Seep was buffed almost too much. Eh, Seep. He still suffers that all from the fact that all of his buffs only work if your opponents don't defend themselves. Alright, I'll give this one a shot. Okay, so our opponents are Eagle Eye. We can now see their goodies. Uh, which opponent am I looking at? Okay, look at the bottom opponent. Let's Samster look at the next one. Uh, let's see. Do this, this. Beautiful. So this should work just fine. Uh, however, what I'm going to do is I'm going to save up a little bit more. Uh, we are not... Okay, not sure what he's working on there. They say, like, we're not Pinch Fist or Armadillo. <laughs> Even he's in shock a lot, the free cannons. Yeah, the free cannons seem pretty cool. Okay, if I get this guy out here... And then now I can just slide this here, slide this here. This looks like a lot better. Thank you. Let me purge this. Thank you. Alright, so my opponents appear to be mini gun rushing. Uh, you can tell by them upgrading miniguns. So I need to have an energy shield up here. At least my direct opponent appears to be minigun rushing. Haven't been paying that much attention to my other opponent up top. Should handle all this nicely. Hello, friend. Are you going to do me like this? Fix this here. Oof, the metal income is quite painful. Yep. Saw that one coming. Hello. I need some more uh, 
and come here before I really start reacting to this. Is Spook telling him the last action my opponents took? Yes. Yes, it is. That's the benefit of Spook. It's really quite good. Mm -hmm. And then one more. Hello. Oh, let's... Oh, wow. I actually didn't shut down my energy shield. Thank you with the snipes. That did. And killed my sniper. Which is really rather unfortunate. That's fine. He's not doing significant damage here, so I'm not too worried. It's uh, once that becomes a rocket that it becomes a problem. But this will solve my problems with... Okay. I will solve my minigun problems. I can just kind of ignore most of this, to be honest. Here and here. Thank you. Okay, nice. Uh, let's see. He's floating all of his resources away, so I don't have to worry too much about all that. I'm just going to continue ignoring him. Like, if he, they're just going that tier 1 rush and not hurting me, like, at all. I'm going to steal resources so I Everything get resources. Is on fire. It's been a hot minute since I've managed to catch a stream how many annoying requests for. Well defended have we had so far this time? Oh, fair few. Yep, and there's the commander active. Clean through my fort. Alright, so that's all three miniguns down. Just kind of ate all that damage, and they didn't get anything from it. All the joys of having a proper defense. So, they really don't have anything left other than a rocket launcher, which is not going to help them all that much. Just snipe one of those rockets out real quick. I can move on with my life. Let me slide this guy back. Prepare an area back here. My opponent, or my teammate, has decided to go with the mortar option. I'm going to steal resources. I'm mostly so I have them, but for not much other reason. I'm gonna sell off this guy, I don't really need sniper anymore. Yeah. One rocket launcher is not something I can't just ignore, so I'm just going to ignore it. Eh, mostly ignore it. And we'll start working on the next set of tools here. Next set of toys. Like so. We're off. Uh, looks like my opponent is building a sniper. We've shut down that rocket launch. Excellent. I'll add you up here. This guy's upgrading it is it has been destroyed rocket does make it across which makes me say it but it's not a significant concern let's see can we steal more yes yes we can steal more money this player is down to not much money like he does <laughs> this poor guy only has three months uh, but with stealing this money that's going to give us enough to purchase a cannon here excellent Beautiful. That's kind of the thing about minigun rushes. Like, it puts you really far behind, and if your opponent defends against them, you're just in a bad spot. Like, I spent not as I spent a, not all that much metal on this slanted armor, and um, miniguns just ricochet off instead of instead of dealing damage once that metal is in place. So now I've got technology down. He doesn't. He doesn't have any meaningful way of damaging me. I could just kind of ignore it. Sure, my cannon's been delayed by two minutes, but his base has been delayed by far more than two minutes, so that's how that goes. And now he's going to explode. Is this open? And oh look! He's about to have 200 metal. It would be a shame 
If I stole it all. Actually, he just spent it before I could steal it. Sadness. Wait for him to get to 200 metal or snipe him. No, snipe. Steal. Alright, I stole before, before it all went away. Come on! It's not open. The bet should finish it, right? Yeah, that's one player down. Alright, well, we have a heavy weapon set up for our next friend here. Let me switch targets. Ooh! Explosive shotgun! But does he have anti-air? No. No, he doesn't. Well, that's a hard yikes. <laughs> Ah, uh, that's beautiful. Oh, that is beautiful. Good job. Samster is just straight up, not even having, not even getting shot at, just eliminating the opponents, just clearing them down. Good job. Pause the main cannon. Almost, almost got to it. All right, let's go ahead and try out a different commander. So that was Spook. We just saw exactly what they were doing and countered it before they had a chance to do anything about it. Uh, we can try... Let's see. Warthog, Firebird. Firebird is all about that fire. What do I want to do Shockin' Awe? Let's try Shockin' Awe. Like, Shockin' Awe is... Shockin' Awe is just great. Is this modded? No, this is not modded. How am I liking the new Commander update? I am loving it so far. It's just so many more things. The commanders, like, don't get me wrong. Just being good at the game is going to far surpass any amount of commander abilities. But come on, these are cool new things. Armadillo miniguns. I I want to do an actual separate video on that. Firebird strong. Firebird is he seems pretty strong. You're just happy that pinch of this wasn't changed because he's already OP. Pretty much, it it brought the. I like the way the developers handled it. They brought the power level of the lesser used commanders up to at least closer to the power level of the existing strong commanders which is what i want to see let's get this guy going so shock and not typically not a uh rushy style commander there's no real benefit to rushing with shock and uh but shock and uh, does get a few quirks. They're typically known as a very annoying commander to play against. Uh, mostly because they put barrels in the enemy base and barrels explode. Which makes everyone sad. I guess we're good here. I could just kinda uh oh oh hold off. This wait for it. Am I still playing streaming Ministry? I am keeping my eye on Ministry because I am aware that there is a new update that has been teased. And it's kind of sort of available in the beta stages, but outside of that, not really. The development branch. But I will be covering that very, very strongly once, once it actually releases in full. At least the new update. <laughs> Don't forget you can make the barrel. Oh yes, that's right. You can now place these barrels, and you guys have seen what they what they do. Haven't seen the new update yet. This deserves a nuke. Oh, launch hello the there. missiles. This guy does stuff coming in with the nuclear launch. Welcome to the party. Glad you enjoy. Yes, we got plenty new games. Alright, come on. Swing back. Beautiful. Sell you. Connect you down. Connect you. Come on. There we go. Thank you. Make this go away. We toss our turbines up here. I did this kind of backwards, so it's going to cost me uh, some amount of time. But we'll see how this goes. I'm hearing portals being placed. Actually, not at all paying attention to what the other team is doing, which is a mistake. They could be going for more minigun cheese. Especially with those kind of upgrades. What do we have here? I don't think it's miniguns. The portals, for some reason. Whatever the case is, let's 
get this going. Warning. Nuclear well, launch hello, detected. Did someone say launch the missiles? Oh, wait until we get the round to Seep. Seep got some pretty strong buffs. Like, oof. What are you upgrading? Did someone say I'll launch the missiles? Thank you for the content. He's upgrading his turbines. Okay. Have a mushroom cloud and a like. Well, I'm glad you enjoy. Okay, so good, good, good. Alright, time to actually get some some weapons on the field. We're way past weapon placement time. So the thing about Shakana. Shakana's whole gimmick is that Shakana places explosive barrels in the opponent's base, which makes them very vulnerable. But the amount of vulnerability, amount of danger they're in, is entirely RNG, which makes it a rather unfortunate experience uh, for both parties. Because either you win by throwing everything into the Shakana ultimate, or you nothing happens because RNG. And it makes it not great to play against. It doesn't make it that fun to play. Uh, but with the new updates, it's more than just RNG. Your sem your hybrid weapons, like these uh, fire beams, for example, they become plasma lasers. They get upgraded to proper heavy weapons during your ultimate. So no longer do you have to spend a lot on having plasma beams and such. You can just get a bunch of fire beams and during your ultimate just go crazy. Shaka no longer does barrels in the opponent's base. Did they remove that? I didn't didn't notice that. Oh that makes me even happier. No more barrels in the enemy's base. That makes me so happy you have no idea. Everything is on fire It'll also add that the stream VODs make boring times stuck at work far more enjoyable. Well, I'm Keep glad you enjoy. Keep up the fantastic content, you crazy Florida menu. <laughs> <laughs> this guy does stuff coming with you. Everything is on fire. I'm glad you enjoy. We have much more of it coming. Spaced armor out here. Beautiful. Alright, so that's looking good. Let me just penetrate that a little bit. As we build up our commander charge. Get another one going here. Come on, almost done. Is that going to be a nuke? No. Otherwise I would have ignited. Just start burning through this. Oh! He did not defend himself from that. Well, that's one fire beam. Well, that's one player eliminated based off of solely a fire beam. Okay, that is a cannon. This is why we have double doors on everything. Ooh. Are you done here? We are. All right, ready? So now we shut down his turbines and hit it with the plasma laser. Oh, that costs so much more energy. I don't know why I didn't expect it to cost more energy. But that's it. We went from fire beams to plasma beams at the click of a button, which is great. Because that was just... That went from, oh no, I just defend fire beams, to you've got four plasma beams bearing down on you. You're replacing shields? Yes. That's how that works. The commander stopped the turbines? Yes. The So, shock enough. Pa shields absorb energy from laser weapons. Barrels can be built to control disconnected structures, which we've seen a lot in mods, because that's just a hilariously fun mechanic. The active disables enemy turbines, and it makes the hybrid weapons, your 20mm and your fire beam, into heavy weapons. The 20mm becomes a cannon, and the fire beam becomes a plasma laser for the duration of the active. So in that game, you saw us use the fire beam to do a lot of damage, and then switch it over to the plasma beam for the finish, which is strong, which I really like. Uh, let's see, we have this one. Let's try this guy out. 
Uh, we can do another vanilla. I do like the vanilla start. Or the vanilla mash. Just to give you guys so we don't have any complexity on the maps to have to worry about. <laughs> the warthog with the howitzer. Yeah, I saw that. That's looking pretty pretty strong for those wondering about that. I can look at it. I can show you that here. Uh, the, 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 do, 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 do. Reload speed decreased. Howitzer aiming up. Reload decreased. Where's the active howitzer? Heavy weapons reload instantly on miss. Which means you just keep firing the howitzer over and over and over again every time it doesn't hit a target. Which is awesome. So we'll see how that works out. But this time, we're going to be playing with Seep. Let me go ahead and read that off for you guys. Seep. Passive warhead bursts into your 15 swarm missile destroyed. We've seen that already. As well as the launch delay reduced by 59%. So that's just faster launching. And whenever a nuke is destroyed, bursts into swarm missiles. It's great. Basically guaranteed damage. It works out well. Now we have a few upgrades. For one, the targeting laser from missiles is invisible to the enemy, which is huge because most of the time players, whenever they see a laser pointed at them, they just immediately just assume they're going to hit by a nuke and start defending against a nuke, which makes it so that even if you have a surprise nukes coming up, they're still going to have it defended by the time, by the time it lands. No longer the case with the targeting laser being invisible. But now we have a few extra things. We've already seen that they have that the missiles travel faster with Seep, but more importantly, this is going to be ridiculous. Swarm missiles are armored against one additional hit. EMP rockets and double rockets are armored against one additional hit. Like, are you serious? The anti-air just we just cut through it. Like, woo! Oh, that's going to be amazing. All right, let's go. this guy going build all this up nice do I want to do what do I want to do with this Let's get this guy placed. Machine guns already? Eh, that's fine. Uh, which commander are they? Let me check real quick. Uh, it's gonna be Warthog or something. Uh, let's get this guy going. Yeah, 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 you know we're seep. Gotta sell this off. So this is going. We're going to present a bit of an issue here. Our opponents know we're seep. They know we're going to be building rockets. So how do you handle someone who knows you're building rockets? You build anti-anti-air. It means you have to win the war of, well, win the map suppression war, which you have to do anyway. So I'm not too concerned about them trying to counter us when we already have to destroy them entirely to get our rockets to work. Perhaps this shall simply be a good example of how to do this. I'm getting peppered with tiny machine guns. Shotguns. Shotguns are an excellent choice. Personally, I'm a fan of snipers. But I'm also the, the try-hard guy who likes sniping. go. Let me just make sure the base is nice and stable. I realize in 2v2s, I'm playing this like a 4v4 and I don't have to. Is In 2v2s like this, I can just get away with being more greedy and being more aggressive. Let me see mortars up there, by the way. Yeah. Come 
might be able to snipe. Come on. Pixels higher. Ooh, that looked like it was about as perfect as it was going to get. It's not going to work. Okay. Okay. Let's get this guy up here, like so. Make these guys do this. Alright, so if I could just slam these guys right here. Give them something to think about. Uh, so now I need to get some of these guys going here. Um... I need to place it up top, which means I need to worry about... Whew, he just went straight shotguns. That's great. Get this guy over here. <laughs> Did he sell off? <laughs> oh my lord, I think he sold off his internals to get the extra damage output. Oh, the greediness. Oh, that's amazing. Well, this is this is how that's going to go. Oh my gosh. And here come the rockets. The EMP shutting everything down. And he's trying to build weapons on front. That's not going to happen. Let's get up another rocket going. Make sure we've got the extra bracing here for stability. I've been using this particular style for base within a base kind of shenanigans, extra stability Everything shenanigans. Is on fire. It's just easy. Hey. Jabin coming in with the everything is on fire and the support. Thank you so much, friend. Glad you enjoy. Alright, we fire the EMP, then we upgrade. Just straight upgrade this guy. Alright. So, remember that bit where they knew we were seat and uh, started building ants here to work against us? Yeah. We're about to have these upgraded rockets and then we'll activate the active. Not that it matters. It really doesn't matter because the active is only if you want to punch through additional, additional anti-air. But they don't have any. But let's go ahead and activate it anyway, just so you can see how fast these rockets go. Straight across. <laughs> uh, that was nice. Fire off another round. Ooh, is that a core? It was a core. GG. Rockets are a beautiful weapon. Alright, so you guys wanted to see the replay on that shotgun. Like, this was just us blowing away his base with it by virtue of slamming with a bunch of missiles. Yeah, that's just us blowing away his base with a bunch of missiles. We've seen that before. This... What happened here? Yeah, he sold off the metal around here, <laughs> is what happened. And we replaced it with machine guns to defend against the rockets, not expecting the just straight up, just straight up projectiles, shotguns to go cleaning through everything and blowing up his fort. Like, well, that'll, uh, That'll solve that problem. Games seem to be way faster? Uh, no, that's just because we're doing 2v2. Anytime you have a 4v4, games are slower because everyone has to slow down or they lose. This, things get a spiral of suffering in 2v2s where it actually turns into a grind of player versus player as opposed to whoever gets the most cannons. So that's Seep. <laughs> Oh, jeez. I know... Let's see. Scattershot got some upgrades. 20mm cannon fires three projectiles at a time, which sounds hilarious. 
Let's see what else was there. Burst weapons gain two projectiles, excluding the 20 millimeter cannon. So that would include the machine gunner, uh, the shotgun, probably flak, but that's not going to be a noticeable event. Uh, let's see what else is there. I, I think that's about it. Hmm. But 20 millimeter cannon fires three projectiles at a time in the active. I want to try this. I really want to try this. You really love the Forts videos? It's the first time catching you live, but welcome. Welcome to the party, Mr. Drew. Snipey double shot? Well, the sniper doesn't fire a burst of projectiles. Buzzsaw. Buzzsaw that too. Which actually make... That actually... I don't know, think about it. It's significant. Buzzsaw, Buzzsaw, Rush, and Scattershot might actually be an issue. Alright, ready whenever you guys are. Let's do this. All right, so of course I'm going to do a core swing because I want to, and that's how that's going to go. <clears throat> Try buzzsaw, we can give buzzsaw a shot. See how that works out. Just purge. Brace all the things. Wait for the core swing. That's not gonna work. There's a reason I keep I keep this here. So you can't can't punish me like that. Uh the core hitbox is actually like way down here way down here so he doesn't have any chance of getting that over even though it looks like that you can hit the top that's all not part of the hitbox okay now that we have this set this up now bonus goodies this is of course going to delay us slightly but it's more fun i think what about tier threes i mean it's still scatter shot tier threes that's uh it's a pretty hard yikes is the patch finals are going to be buffed at all the developers for forts are very active and they put a lot of love and support into their game uh they always have more content. Well, maybe not more content, but more balancing updates. They always have more bug fixes and stuff going out, so I'm sure there's going to be changes. But as of right now, this is public, live. You guys can come play Forts right now and try out all these cool new toys, including the AP miniguns and all that fun stuff. Actually, let's pay attention to what the opponents are doing. Um, hard to tell. He's got an extra door there. It looks like they're not doing anything particularly special. Which I'm okay with. I just want to see. I haven't tested out the Scattershot 20s. Let's we'll see how this works. Oh, 
Oh, the double shot snipers. Oh, five shots. Oh, that's brutal. Oh, that is absolutely brutal. So Samster is handling the early game shenanigans or the uh, sniper and sniper buzzsaw combo. Which means I can handle... Good God. He's just chopping the base in that in apart. But that leaves me to handle the later game shenanigans, which I am okay with. I will happily handle that roll. Alright, so we had a shot come from over here. Let's try to solve that. He doesn't have anything there. But I can slap... Yep, that's a good chopping of all of his goodies. So, this won't cause... The 20s don't have a buff passively. It's an active buff. So, I'm curious... It, it says fires three shots. So, I'm curious as to what that means. And we can test that out right here. Come on, just 600. Okay, well. Does he have his 20 up line line? He does. Oh, that's nice. Oh! Ho, 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 ho. oh ho, ho, ho. It fires a shotgun blast! Oh my god, that's amazing! Oh, jeez. And it also had a projectile indicator, which is new. And pretty cool, actually. Let's see. If I fire this in the same spot, should chop off some of his turbines. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Oh, jeez. So, welcome to the 20 mils. If you thought Scattershot was broken already, well, he's super strong now. It's freaking shotgun. Good God. It turns... That's... I'm pretty certain that's more... That's legitimately more dangerous than a standard cannon. Because three... Especially with his... His projectile accuracy buff during the active. Like, that's actually brutal. Because all, all of those shotgun grade shots are all heading to the same spot here. Let's aim this lower. Alright, once this comes off cooldown, we should be able to finish with the active. Wait for it. Wait for it. And... Warning. Nuclear launch detected. <laughs> ah, my lord. I want to see that replay. Six... Just shy of seven minutes, guys. Just shy of seven minutes as we have Carvius coming in with the nuclear launch. Well, I'm glad you enjoy, Carbius. Coming in with that mega ton of support, thank you so Everything much. Everything is on fire! Everything is always on fire! in 2020 be like... Daka, 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 daka! Yes! Alright, so I, I do appreciate Samster holding off and waiting for the, the single burst to do it. We can do a higher eco game. I mean... You're not going to get a higher eco game in a 2v2. That's not how that's, not how that's going to work. That's not how 2v2s work. It's like saying, StarCraft, can we play a macro game? Yeah, you just have to survive your opponent's timing attack at the 6 minute mark. Look at this. And look how tightly... Look! They, these are three shots merged into one. This is what Scattershot does. It takes the shots and merges them. It makes them more accurate during the active. So these are like cannon shell almost grade shots coming in and burst like that look at it they all hit the same spots and just oh Ooh. 
Oh, that's brutal. Oh, that's amazing. Like, Scattershot was already gross because of how accurate he was. At least during his active. Because he has the passive which makes everything... It makes everything 35% less accurate. And then during the active, 65% more accurate. So it's... <laughs> oh my lord. So that is our... That's our scatter shot. We have Phantom. This isn't really something I'm going to be able to see from my side. Because... I can still see my fort when it's cloaked. However, my opponents can't. So at some point, we'll see some Phantom play from the other side. So we've done Shock and Awe, Sieb, Scattershot, Buster, and Moonshine didn't get any upgrades. They were already super powerful. Uh, let's see, I think Architect got a minor buff. Yeah, but that's just storage capacity, which isn't interesting at all. Hurricane didn't get touched. Firebird. Firebird did. Firebird had, let's see, Firebeam duration increase. Everything which is on is fire! Which is great. We'll try, go ahead and try that one out. I know Scatter Samster likes his Firebird. Is in an accelerator. Yes, well, yeah, I mean, I guess it's it's not going to be too, that's actually not going to be too much different from a regular one, uh, because these 20s fired 3x3, three three, as opposed to just all in a line. The thing about the accelerator is it merges them all into one, so that's not going to change much. Actually, will that make a difference at all? It may not make a difference at all. Let's see, I need to do Firebird, and at some we also need to do Warthog, because that's such heavy weapons. Alright, we'll give this one a shot, see how this works out. Firebird also denies the enemy the fire alarm warning. Yes, it does, and I don't like that. But it does deny the fire alarm warning. Need to get our technology down. Thank you. Nope, nope, don't do that. Rip that metal, you'll be missed. Uh, this I need to do quickly because I am actually vulnerable to snipers here, so I'm not going to wait for that technology to complete. I'm just going to go. Yoink. Okay, and we're off. The top player did have an angle with his sniper on me. So that is what it is. This is going to delay our weapons by a bit, but you know what? We'll survive. Actually, can I build this here? I can't even do that. Okay. It's going to delay me by a fair amount then. Oh well. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. How am I? I am doing very well. Enjoying all this new commander update stuff. It's great fun. Nukes plus Firebird hurts a lot. Oh, I can imagine. Just the sheer damage from the, or the sheer extra damage from the uh, from the little extra burn time on that on the fire is great. I'm sure. Like everything gets seriously damaged by the AOE. Five squares of fire is huge. Okay, get this guy going. Now I need a spot for things and stuff. My teammate is going for this style of aggression. Which is going to work out nicely in combination form. Uh, this is a turbine, it looks like. Let's get this guy up here. Uh, 
How are they going to react? Just the passive extra fire. 0.1k Twitch viewers. Oh, so now they're invisible. We can still hit them, we can still interact with them, but we can't see them. And that makes our life difficult. Let me see if I can get that sniper. I think he's behind a door. I never know. I'm not hitting a door. That was a door. Welcome back. Oh. He's got a flak up there. Can I... Headshot it? I headshot it. Hey, I got the headshot on it. Nice. That's a sniper trick shot you don't see every day. Eventually he will learn that that position in particular is vulnerable to being headshot. Today might be that point when he learns. Let's do this. This. Nice basic little defense there. Need to set up another one of these. Oh, they're invisible again. And that's why we build this. Hello. What time is it? Not quite cannon o'clock. Me. Oop. Where'd that come from? That came from right here, didn't it? Right here. Yeah, it did. Alright, let's deny this some more. Just all the fire everywhere. Come on. Fog causes fire, everything causes fire, isn't that great? Fire goes in all fields. Oh look, you're, you're still recovering from that last batch of fire. It'd be a shame if we hit you again with more fire. No, they're invis going invisible. That's the uh, phantom commander for you. Going invisible the game. And they can still shoot at us, by the way. Makes our life difficult. No! A direct hit! Oh, there goes one of my weapons. Oh, that was a mistake. Did not intend to do that. But here we are anyways. Yes. Purge. I think I hit a sandbag. Which makes me sad. Need to pull these guys back if possible. Two, three. Just send that straight down the middle. I see you have a rocket launch chair there. It's a shame if something happened to it. I can just start sniping things here. Like the rocket launcher, which is now gone. Oop, shotgun! Oh, I see what you have there. You have a shotgun there. Okay, well, I can handle that shotgun problem. We may not be able to see the base, but we can see the flames emanating from their base. Okay, you need two. I said you on two. Okay. Said you on two, you on three. There we go. There we go, got the shotgun. Let's do it again. Thank you for being on fire. Let's work on some more of these. These machine guns. They build machine guns, therefore we snipe. Okay, he's got almost no more machine guns. And now we burn. 
That shuts it down still. Yes, perfect. I think this player is a little bit more vulnerable right now, so I'm going to be hitting him a few times. Yes. Okay, so it looks like I need to upgrade to heavier weapons, which is fine. Let's get some heavy weapons in here. As much as the burning is doing great work, uh, slowing them down immensely. It's not blowing them up, which is not terribly surprising, given. Hello. I need more. Did I not build the battery here? I never put the battery down. Well, that's a mistake. That should get the sniper. It did. That's a howitzer. Hello. Everything is on fire? Yes, everything is indeed on fire. How's your base looking, besides being on fire again? <laughs> I chopped him in half with a fire beam. The extra length, extra burn duration, uh, or firing duration on the fire beam, it doesn't sound like much until you have to experience it firsthand. And then it hurts. And it hurts a lot. Not just a little bit, it hurts a lot. That's just an exposed shotgun. Don't mind if I do. One less shotgun to worry about. Oh, we're penetrating all the way through the base now. He got his sniper going. I got the sniper at the last moment. But the core also exploded. GG. Little extra fire. Look how much damage we did. Oh my god. We did... Whew, six and a half times more damage than they did to us. That's ridiculous. Oh my. Forge ships would be fun. Yeah, but then we, we need to play with the commander. So we saw what the Phantom Commander did. It made the base invisible, which actually was kind of painful to deal with. <laughs> like, I play it off as pretty easy to be like, oh, I just flash memorized their entire base and sniped things like their shotgun while they were invisible. Not easy to do. Definitely, definitely difficult. But the one commander I wanted to try next was Warthog. I know, I know Theta was asking for a longer match. This will be a longer match for him. You can't use the new commanders for it. This is true. Alright, so Warthog. Warthog does everything heavy weapons. His whole passive is all about heavy weapons. Plasma laser cannon aiming arcs are increased by 20%. The plasma laser and swarm head reload counts, like the, pla the heavy weapons, are decreased by 2 seconds, which is nice to not make or break same thing with the heavy mortars let's see how it's a reload decreased and we saw all that all missiles and rockets at 25 percent greater thrust shotguns have an automatic anti-air option which is new i've not had that or seen that before it's gonna be weird but probably not an unwelcome change but what makes Birdhog strong is that the plasma cannon warhead direct damage increased by 25 percent during his active it's just straight up destroy an extra piece of metal during the active which is great for that high penetration or just sheer damage potential same thing with the radius what is new however heavy weapons reload instantly on miss so you could just fire and if you miss you just fire again and i'm looking forward to seeing how that works out let's give this one a shot shall we Let's go. Tier 3 would be interesting? I mean, yes, Tier 3 is always interesting. They don't really play well with the commanders, though. Sadly, hitting a turbine counts as a hit. I mean... 
Fair enough. It is a hit. Even if it's just hitting a turbine. I assumed it's if you completely whiff. And now we wait. <clears throat> Would T3 Mini reload when it lands? Yes. I assume so. It the also means that you have to wait for the uh, Tier 3 to land. Which takes about between like 10 and 12 seconds. The cannon reload time is almost as long as it takes the... Uh, the tier three to come back down to the earth, so it's not you're not gaining a whole lot by using it on tier threes. Do another round of firebird later, but use shotguns at 20 mils? Oh, yes. Oh, yes, we can. Missing counts is hitting terrain, hitting neutral structure, hitting allied structure, and I assume team three as well. Makes sense. Gone up in economy. I see an upgraded sniper already, which is a decision. Uh, it does mean that that opponent in particular wins upgrade center first. So, yikes for them. Uh, it does mean that we have to make sure our doors are nice and correct before we actually build weapons, but. That's not too difficult. It's not a hard a task to complete. This update will bake a lot of custom mods. I doubt it, but I can't really say. Custom mods can al always have the chance to break whenever an update comes out. Did he just snipe this? He did. <laughs> He's like, oh, you, you you rushed out an AP sniper and spent all of your economy on that lemon. It'd be, it'd be shame if I just built a regular sniper. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's usually how that goes. Remember kids, never build your batteries near your core. Just don't do it, it's a bad idea. Uh, Pyro, do you know if uh, project if howitzer being shot down by Ansier counts as a miss? Because that would be great if it did. Shot down howitzer's count is missing. Oh. Okay, so that's just hilariously powerful. Because most of the time howitzers get shot down. And if... Oh, that's amazing. You just hang on that howitzer button. 
just keep firing every time someone shoots it down. Oh my. Don't forget that missiles and rockets have extra thrust. Yes. You don't get a free shot, just instantly reload. I am aware. That much I figured. Alright, let's reset some boys here. Top win. Yep. Saw that one coming. Alright. So, what we can do now is build ourselves a howitzer. Accidentally door snipe me? I don't think that was an accident. Uh, let me just fire. And let's get this guy up here. Do I want to do something special with the... This is fine. Alright. Upgraded cannon shell. Cleared through all of his turbines and his sandbags. Oh. Yeah, that's gonna be... Yep. That was, uh, difficult to see the difference in power, but let us just say that if your opponents do not survive being one-shot by your heavy weapons, the heavy weapons bonus is quite strong. Very strong. <laughs> Fun and interactive gameplay. Uh, to be fair, I have Samster on my team. Between me and Samster, we, we are familiar with these builds. We know how to do these. These builds that we're using are not new. We're just abusing them. So this is the power of the new commanders used properly. It was longer than the sub-7-minute match. This is true. I do want to see that beautiful door snap again, though. Right at the beginning. Welcome to Forts, ladies and gentlemen. So I'm going to go ahead and recreate the lobby here. As we've covered the commanders, we'll open up to 8v8. Or 4v4, our 8 player matches. See what kind of shenanigans we can have here. I'm trying to imagine. Can you guys imagine something like a uh, oh, ho, 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 separate, not separate, where's, where's question marks? Where is question marks? Here you go. Let's imagine this is phantom. Devices, weapons can be moved. Internal portals are hidden. Doors are silent. Damage structure doesn't reveal contents. Forks... Forts are cloaked. I want it. I want it so bad. So this is the cannon flinging map. <laughs> At some point you're going to have to try these commanders on FFA. Eh. How does that map work? Oh, uh, it's everyone controls every fort on this map. It's just one big giant map. Phantom has the ability to move, to move, uh, what is it, <laughs> to move weapons, which is unique. Now with the invisibility, that's just hilariously powerful. Sneaky cannon flings? Yes. They can't counter it if they can't see it coming. I wonder if you can move the barrels on this map of Phantom. 
That's a good question. I don't think so. I think Phantom can only move weapons, not like technology and devices. But uh, I can check. Can we do forge ships after this? I don't think forge ships is... Maybe another night. Another night. We can make a we can make a, a night dedicated to forge ships. Nova man, it's he's pressed the download button. It's just taking him forever to download. Would you shock and all allow for cheaper cannon flings? Yes. The flung cannons don't stay hidden after they have detached. No, they do not. Reaction time for that's got to be pretty brutal, though. It's like a map dedicated, a uh, night map dedicated to Scrolls Peak. Eh. We, we can do a map that includes a lot of forge ships. That kind of idea. Uh, yeah, Nova Man. Connect. I'll save your spots. Want to do set kick duration zero. So if anyone but Nova Man joins, then we insta kick. I will set the ban. Okay. Set kick duration one. We now have bans enabled, so that player is now banned. Goodbye. Who is next? Rank one. Well, gotta kick him anyways, but impressive. I'll have to get him in on one of these other lobbies. All okay, he disconnected of his own accord. He was hoping he could keep him. Yeah, I, I wanna I wanna have him back in this lobby. Perhaps perhaps later. It's nice to see. I, I do enjoy having the higher skilled players in the lobby. It makes for more interesting games, in my opinion. But still, I've already said we wanna ha we're going to save a spot for Mr. Nova Man. All right, he's joined like four times now. He's part of the DFC. I mean, oh, those guys know his Pinterest. I mean, if you get if you're gonna try hard, you, Pinterest is a great option. Lively! Long time no see. Welcome back, and goodbye. Alright. Alright. Nova man. You... You gotta rejoin. Like, you can't... Uh, like, you can't... Come on. We're saving you a spot. Okay, so we just gotta let the next person join in. Nah, we just... If Nova Man's not rejoining, he's not rejoining. It is what it is. He said his computer is toast. Oh, okay. Well, then we're just taking the next person who shows up. Sorry, Nova Man. Rip computer. Okay, math puns. Welcome. You're our new replacement.
No, uh... <laughs> Nova died, so he, so math can stay. Rip computer, rip Nova computer. Let's go. Let everyone know. All right, so can we move these? No, cannot be moved. We'll jump on this. Let's get technology going. Uh, someone on our team shot their barrels for some reason, which is a mistake. Just cloak all this. Just stop it. Thank you, thank you. Ooh, they're invisible too. Do it, do it, do it. this. Sell off all these things, get ready for next technologies. Keep the cloak going. They can't shoot what they can't see. Heavy expenditures here. Sell off this and that. We don't want to keep selling off indefinitely on this. How are we looking on technology? We need a little bit more over here. Thank you. Ah, I should not have put this there. I gotta remember, do not put that there. I guess I'm eco boy now. This is understandable. The teams like myself. Oh, it's basically myself and uh, and Samster versus all the experienced players. This is going to be a very one-sided match, it seems. Okay, this, this, this. Uh oh, this is the problem. He's not building the bottom section properly. Teams are balanced, are they? Oh, math puns. King. Yeah, I guess they are balanced. That is my mistake. I have judged harshly. Or spoken without... Spoken without looking. here. Excellent. It is time for weaponry. Ah, I didn't get it in time. Hello, Mr. Flashing Grace. Where are you? That's not going to work again. Place this guy. We can get this guy building here. Why are we building turbines on the front lines? I'm wondering where the money went. It went into turbines on the front lines. Oh, well, that makes a lot of sense, I suppose. Then we purge those batteries over there. 
Since when can you connect all the way over here? That's changed. Cannons at us, it feels like. That was unavoidable, I think. Until we get someone on our team chucking cannons. Which is probably gonna have to be me. I don't think we can survive much more of this. Okay, let's get rid of all this. Thank you. Having uh, income issues. guy. Mm -hmm. Like, you can't... Oh dear. Why does the moving cost an entire howitzer? Okay, I'll let him work on this. What did you think was going to happen? You didn't reinforce it. Yeah, this is over. This is a very much so ended. You dropped a howitzer on our own base! We've yet to fire a weapon. Yes, yes, somebody on our team dropped a howitzer in our own base. Pretty bad experience. I still haven't gotten... had the chance to get the eco online. Bad experience. Yeah, balanced teams, I said. That, uh, changed very quickly. They own our side and their side of the field. I don't see where that howitzer was. It was right there. I hit it. Oh, it's got door now. Yes, they own all of this. Alright, well, I think this one is... Uh, very much so over. You can't not build... You can't spend on building struts all the way across the beginning of the game before you build your economy and expect to win. You can't drop howitzers and expect to win. You can't give the enemy all of your missile launchers and expect to win. But hey, you know, that's what this learning experience is. I'm just going to let it happen. I don't have the income to build anymore.
Yeah. Yep. Hmm. Live back at the commitment. Yeah. Why does the enemy base disappear? Uh, that's the new command. If you missed it a few rounds ago, that's the new commander. A uh, new commander ability. It's really cool. It makes the it makes the fort disappear. Our Irish could do the same thing. I don't know if someone on our team is still trying or not. Looks like they are as they're repairing. I'm actually curious, if I were to build this guy... technology? That's still there. Oh. We, we, we lost the claim on that. I'm curious, does this guy explode when dropped? No. Half your base is permanently invisible? Well, it's not my base. That's their base. That's why it's invisible. Yeah, you can't, you can't do most of the things that we did as a team and expect to have any meaningful outcome. Like, you can't do that. Like, you can't rush across. The Phantom of Sowies is so nice. It really is. It really is. That's how it's beautiful. It really was. And I do credit. I. It's either going to be Pyro or King Benjai that did it. I think King Benjai was the one doing most of the chucking. Moving them around to get almost instant reload. That would be nice if you were even allowed to build one. Everything is on fire! Disappearing fort makes enemy fort disappear. We've seen a thing or two. We are farmers. Ba 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 ba. I get it. Okay, so we're not doing co-op anymore. As that's not a thing that's gonna be allowed. It was a brilliant shot. It was. Firebud shotty time. Yeah. Now let's try... Oh, I'll try one. Don't really mind. I, like, there's so many new things. I just want to try... I just want to play with them all. Just let it be contested. Did they just chuck cannons at you? Yeah. It's very effective. Loop? No, that's... I don't like Loop. Loop is such a... Yucky map. Alright, so we are on the Contested Commander, which is excellent. Give us the randomness. <laughs> Why did the math book go to therapist? He had a lot of problems. I love it. Alright. Ready what you are. Mr. Theta! Let's go. So, this is the point where we wait. I'm floating metal, which I do not like. Do not like at all. 
Looks like we have multiple persons going for this same. Interesting take on it. I mean, I guess... I guess... Terrabine's gonna go there anyways. But... Really forward for a turbine. Everything is on fire. Everything is always on fire. I'm also a farmer, and our prize sheep produces music. Here's a preview of his new single, Ba 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 Ba. Ba 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 Ba. I don't know why I'm chuckling at this. <laughs> but I'm chuckling anyways. Gotta remember to put this guy down first. Incognito coming in with the jokes. Hotkeys, camera locations, thank you. Alright, so did he end up swinging? He did. He did. Alright, good to know. Now we wait. Math puns is getting out punned. It's a strange day when math puns has competition. It is a strange day indeed. this. Excellent. Well, that's not what I wanted. You're only allowed to be background bracing. You, however, can have a door. And away we go. This set up. One more of these. I do want another one of these guys down here before I do much else. We are coming up on cannon o'clock and I am defended. You don't have to worry about that. Alas. I am not quite ready to do the Everything massive is on fire. damage. I came home from work today and found my keyboard was on fire. Great, now I have to learn new hot keys. <laughs> I've never heard that one before. That's saying something considering my uh, lifestyle choices. Incog Cheeto coming in with the jokes. I did not hit where I wanted to hit. But fire has been returned. Let's get this going. Don't get this right now. My RTS sensor's like, oh, you have money. Spend it on something of eco-related. Okay. Calm down. Oh, clean through. Which is not where I wanted it to go. Ooh, the nuke back from whence it came. Oh, well, that's not good. That looked like a Samster base design, too. Oh, 
At least we're good on the heavy artillery path. Alright, so we got a heavy hit on there. Am I next in line? No, but I'm gonna use this guy if I can sell him off. It's an odd day when I have to sell off my oh. Let's get is he finally launching his nukes? The answer to that is yes. Yes, he is. Ah, how did I not get that door snipe? I'm sad. Is on fire. It is always on fire. A girlfriend of mine was kicked out of a cell in the Personally, I say letter. <laughs> oh, I keep missing, but just barely on that door snipe. Like, come on, so close. Travis Cecil coming with the Everything is on Fire and the puns for days. Yes, more puns. I love the puns. Uh, so I'm having some issues taking many hits. Uh, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter how good your defenses are, there is no defense capable of sustaining uh, this many hits from cannons. Just kinda gotta go and hope. One more shot. Nail it. Didn't nail it. Sell this off. Like, I'm hitting shots. I just need more people to hit shots. They have multiple players all landing their shots. You do not. Woof! Everything is on fire! Everything is always on fire. The local forest lost its organic seal of approval. The inspectors couldn't find a natural loss. That's the end of me. I had not enough income to repair. That's how that ends. You guys need to be faster with the whole shooting thing. Oh, he's going for memes. Well, that explains that. Oh dear. Everything is on fire! I started seeing this new girl and I asked what kind of person are you? She said T-R-O. U-B-L-E. I think she means trouble. I get it. That one took me a moment. I'm like, wait, why? Ah. Now, this is the kind of shot that I don't like. As beautiful as it was, it makes. It's going to make this player feel as if he's participating in this match. GG! <laughs> Seems less balanced than he thought. Yeah, I'd have to agree. <laughs> Travis and Incarcito coming in with the beautiful shots. The puns! Alright, we'll switch the map up to... Mount Ranch? No. A squirrel's peak is just going to be the most one-sided thing. Everything is on fire! I went on a date on with fire. a bomb tech. It was a real blast. <laughs> I like that one. I like that one a lot. Okay, let's try... 
like this. Yes. <laughs> the bomb it's like it was a real blast. Would you say she's a but was she as bomb as shell is the question. Let's go. When the banana was told he was mostly potassium, he wasn't shocked. He just said, K. I get it. Chemistry puns! Ah, let's go. Get a real explosive personality. Hey! This, this, and this. Like so. Yes. And uh, where's my position? Here. Eh, that'd be fine. Chuck you right up there. Get one more of these. New lobby soon? Yeah, I think we'll do a new lobby after this one. I don't think there's any amount of, uh, any amount, any amount that me and Samso can do to delay the inevitable here. At least I'm getting free delay the inevitable. Everything is on fire! I also went on a date with a soda maker. It was pretty flat. <laughs> <sighs> oh my lord. Did I want to try swinging in the core here? Like, this is a pretty easy core swing. Like, this is a pretty easy core swing. Just, uh... Nah, it's fine. You went on a date with an insect. Must admit they were pretty fly. Hey. All right. No. Benji. Almost as bad as me with those core swings. Hmm. I can actually swing this and my technology all at once if I just disconnected. Uh, this is going to make the swing harder, but I kind of want to try it anyways. It's going to make it a lot harder. So I have to keep all this connected. Warning. Nuclear launch detected. Nuclear launch. Alright, fire the nukes. I got a sweet tooth for some yellow cake. Everything oh. is on fire! I also went on a date with a seamstress. It went so-so. <sighs> Come on, and then connect over here. Then we purge this and this. And we swing a little bit further. Nice. So first off, just connect. And then, now that we've got this going, we can make sure everything is nice and squared off. Beautiful. The puns physically hurt! <laughs> Coming from math puns of all people. He says they physically hurt. Alright. Math puns are resident perpetual pun maker.
Oh. <laughs> Theta, I'm sorry. I misspoke. Of course Math Puns is loving it. Why would I question for a moment? Alright. Let's get this going. Put you here. This is the most jank thing I've seen in a while. Do I want to bring my core up? I can I can elevate my core a bit. That would help a lot with the whole defense thing. I'll play around with that. Gotta do that soon though. It's it's cannon o'clock. too late. We just end thicken. Everything is on fire! Everything is always on fire. I went out with a girl and was trying to impress her with my dried fruit collection. She asked me, is this a date? I said no. It's a prune. <laughs> that one hurts. That one hurts and it's beautiful. Hello. I forget how much cheaper all of these things are with the armadillo. Don't mind me. I see we have someone building a, what looks to be a weapon system right there. It is indeed. Is it protect is it correctly armored? Nope. It was a cannon. And that's a miss. Alright, let's just connect this here. Don't need this here. Everything is on fire! It's always on fire. I had a horrible ex who loved to do her makeup in the side view mirrors of my car. I try not to look back and reflect on it. Oh my. Oh, he actually armored that up all the way. Oh, that's nice. Good for him. Let's get another weapon going. But first, a little bit of technology. Let's see, let's slide this over here. Every time I hear makeup in the car, I think someone's about to make a joke about slamming on the brakes. What happened here? Everything is on fire. Oh, took splash damage. Okay. How do you know that your dad joke was super effective? If there is a pregnant pause. Oh, I took out the cannon. I get it! Pregnant pause. The long pause. Okay, we can get these upgraded. Thank you, thank you.
Okay, so we've effectively chopped that player's weapons and everything off, so I don't need to worry so much about him as an immediate threat. I can begin working on this player. Cause some damage to him real quick. I'm still suffering in the energy department. Pretty heavily. Our active makes repairing better. So our... It's good that we... Ooh, he's got weapons down there. I need energy! Like, I need energy. If you guys really need to repair things, make sure to use your active. The active makes repairing cheaper. Like, don't waste it. I'm not being shot at. I have no, no way to use the active efficiently here. Everything is on fire! I only tell money puns when it makes sense. <gasps> hey! Travis says so coming here the everything is on fire for tons and tons of puns! Alright, finally getting this economy up and running at a more stable rate. That means more doors. Doors go in all fields. But did you guys see what I saw? The most beautifully placed energy shield in this game. Yes. Explode. Everything is on fire. I had another girlfriend who would really hold a grudge. If I so much as forgot to do one chore, she would stew on it for days. I don't actually get that one. It's taking me a moment. Right, he's got his cannons back. That's illegal. Everything is on fire! is always on fire. She wasn't a chef. Ah, okay. You see, that makes sense. That poor man thought he could just build cannons in front of my base. Like it was okay to do. Alright, well, we need to stop this from happening. Teammates are getting pounded pretty hard. I want to help. Um, this looks like I can actually penetrate most of the way through this with this series of shots, assuming I don't miss at all. Do I nail it perfectly? No, barely. If I had nailed that, he'd have been gone. Theta. Okay. Alright, well, now there's a shield there. Makes me sad. I'm taking hits. Don't 
mind me. Getting those repairs all up and done real quick. Come on, finish repairs. Hello. Mr. Pooba coming in with the support. Thank you so much, man. All right, slap this. This missile. So this one was a good shot. There we go. That's the damage I needed. Alright, so that'll reset him somewhat. This just needs to go somewhere. Lower. Lower is good. Let's make this happen here. Uh, I can actually expand over here, assuming I do one of these. Okay. Uh, let's continue working on this player, yeah? Okay, he's looking a little bit roughed up. I definitely need more energy production to stay on top of all of this damage output. I've got a fair amount of heavy weapons here. And not nearly enough uh, energy income to maintain it. He's got energy shields all over that. Hello. Just slap that over there. Am I blocking anything here? Don't think anything significant. I can just put metal on this without an issue. That's what I can do. Do I nail this? No. No, I don't. But that should help. Do any of these make it past the flak? Yes. Yes, they do. Can I make the same shot? Nope. So that player has a cannon once more. Good to know. Just slap that right up there real quick. Okay, we got a couple of those machine gunners down. Hello, you fire a rocket at me, or cannon at me. I remove cannon. Same shot, same spot. Nope. This. this player is just full on defense. I'm not going to worry so much about him. Hello. Why do you do this? Hit me with that science. Ah, oh, he got me with the door snipe. But I got him. Did I get him? 
Got him now. Okay. That works too. Don't have to worry about the door snipe if I have a ridiculous amount of armor behind. It's so nice to be able to just dump so much armor around without it have risking damaging the or deforming your base. Okay, a little bit lower for this. Not that low. Or lowers, actually. Oh my god, I just slapped my own base twice. Same laser. Same shield, sorry. Okay. Get some bonus repairs here. So this needed to be noticeably lower. That's good. This needed to be lower too. There we go. Was that too low? I think that was too low. Uh, we may have gotten some damage on that cannon, so I'm just going to fire off here. A little bit lower. One more shot just right there. There we go. Got it. Uh, let's slap this here before he gets an opportunity to rebuild it. He's got plenty of anti-air on that. Deserved. Okay, so you need to be one, you need to be two, you need to be three. You go over here. Thank you. this guy going. Upgrade you. Let's replace these. Just so they don't have any chances of getting missiles across ever. It sounded like I took a hit. I did not. Oh, he's running out of energy shields over there. Don't mind if I do. Let's hit here. How are these guys looking? More energy production, more energy production. My base is so sturdy, I love it. Alright. Miss Susan. That's fine, I can take that hit. There we go, that's the hit I wanted to see. Shut down their missiles. Beautiful. Let ours fly. Oh look, he had energy shields there. Past tense. Uh, let's get in the laser beams before... Before he has an opportunity to stop for uh, rebuild. Okay, well... I missed the spot where I just hit with the laser. With the missiles. Yes! There's the shot I'm looking for. Nice. We're so close for a very long time. Alright, so now we can start working on the next player here who has multiple cannons. Uh, let's just slap that right there. Hello. You got hit with something. Alright, no more energy shield there. I just hit that! Guess not. Cut deep. Okay, so there is that tiny spot without just got through it. Beautiful. Uh, we could slap this again. If we hit those turbines or at least finish them off, he's going to have a very difficult time maintaining energy production. Mostly because we'll have destroyed his energy production. Alright, so now I just have to hit this, and there will go a significant chunk of his turbines. A little bit lower on this guy. More turbines down. Got hit a little bit lower on this guy as well. There we go. Right through the top. Cannon's gone. How do you have so many things? Uh, staying on top of your economy. 
That's how. I've not even been that good at staying on top of my economy, to be honest. It's called playing RTS games. The one nice thing about Armadillo, he eventually just keeps getting better and better and better, and very few commanders can keep up with that. Like, his late game power potential, just because of the sheer amount of uh, metal he can stuff on things and how cheap it is, he ends up being more powerful than most commanders in the late game. So if you can survive to the late game as Armadillo, you're just in a good spot by virtue of having more options available to you. Like, there's nothing better than cannons, but you know what works better than just having cannons? Having cannons and a near endless supply of metal behind them. Everything is well. on fire! You ever oh. hear about the general who blasted Led Zeppelin? Uh, what? mess up the course swing helps too. Uh, that is true. Not have them being down a player is also important. Okay, so that's fine over here. We've disconnected him from his uh, his resource expansion. Means we can do this now. To make their lives even more difficult. Oof! I think that just knocked out a bunch more of his turbines. Everything is on fire. Did. He knew how to rock it. Hey, that's a good one. Come on, slice it off! Oh my gosh, it's so close to falling. It's so close to falling. God, you said rocket, and I thought, oh, rocket for me. I've, I'm on, I need more electro swing in my life. Crazy moves coming in with the everything is on fire for the two part puns. I love it. Uh, let's just aim the same spot. Slice him off. I want to see him fall. There he is. GG. Rip math puns. Alright, so this player, their first player, has been in a really rough spot for the entirety of this game. I. I need more weapons, is what's is here. Because I've been on these heavy weapons. I've expanded to a point where I can actually maintain more heavy weapons. And clearly, these players are of the caliber that they can take the hits. So let's increase our firepower noticeably. Although I'm pretty certain we just successfully nuked him. Did we successfully? Okay, my camera location hotkeys, please. Nope. Thank you. Okay. Oh my god. Thank you. Uh, yeah, that's a successful game. Getting all the points. Alright. Laser beams. Laser beams. Laser beams! Go here. Don't mind me. Just gonna go for a casual nuking. Well, the problem with sand is... Well, there's really not that many problems with sand. It's just that eventually it doesn't hold up to many players with the stuff. And... That's kind of what we have going around here. Many players worth of stuff. This is just cutting deeper and deeper. There we go. That's uh, that's all we needed. A few more deep cuts, and that's the end of him. GG.
All right, sweet. 28 minutes for those asking for a longer game. There it is. Good defensive players on a map with high eco. We'll make the games run long. Ah, I love the commander's update. Okay, I promised a new lobby, didn't I? Indeed, I did. Beautiful. So I've been working on my Halloween costume. The, uh, the girl and I are trying to do a couples-type get-up. Or more accurately, more accurately, the girl is like, Hey, I found this cool thing I want to do, so you're going to do it. I'm like, okay, well, I'm okay with this. Don't really have a choice in the matter. But I am genuinely okay with it. I do like the idea. I get to wear a full head covering. Uh, let's just hop onto this one. Similar map style, less eco. Mm. You have three testers here? Yes. Shock, I love it. Let's do it. Let's do it, King. How's the ADS up coming along? It's. Mm. Like we've been doing, uh, so I've been setting, I've been trying to get the pieces. I actually just got one of, let me see if I can find it. Let me see if I can pull up my order. It's like, I just got one part of the costume. Because I don't like just getting pre-purchased costumes. It's not the same as actually having a decent built costume. Here, let me, while we wait for everything to load up here. Boom. That's not going to display here, is it? No, because I have this disabled. I don't think this can actually work out very well. Ah, there it is. So I got this. Uh, Chroma Key is doing a little bit of doing stuff to it. Yeah. There we go. Okay, well, better yet. Let me just slap it onto this guy real quick. So this is, this is what I'm getting. And it looks nice. It's quite... I like the jacket. It's got the leather parts, very edgy, which is kind of the point. Here, let me let me go ahead and let me go ahead and bring up the uh, the actual thing that we're trying to do. Go for. So we're going for this look, which I realize is going to be very small on this screen. Let me zoom in for you guys here, or just boom. There we go. So we're going for this. So I've got to have the pumpkin helmet, and I need the edgy jacket. So I've got the... That's what the jacket is going to be. It's going to be this guy, this guy over here. Which is going to look, I think, nice. It's not exactly the same, but it's got the same feel. The zipper down this side with the, the chain slash more zippers over here. And that'll, that'll look nice, I think. And of course, me being me, I already have the slacks, so that's going to be great. I already have the slacks and shoes that go with it. Uh, we got the pumpkin helmet. It's not really a full helmet that I'm going to be getting. Uh, but it does have glowy lights. Which I like. And I like that bit a lot. Glowy lights are fun. I'm really contemplating doing some more electronics with it. Like the glowy lights on there aren't particularly vibrant. I'm very tempted to... Uh, very tempted to go with the uh, adjust manual adjustment. Get some little bit of hot wiring, or maybe not hot wiring afterward. Maybe for the first time, instead of hot wiring and things, just actually make a quote unquote safe construction with my electronics. Uh, what are the teams? Let's see. Me, Theta, King, Vaughn versus Lively, Samster, Alex. Uh, probably not balanced teams. It'll be fine. Ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. <laughs> you know, the zippers have emotions. Their days are full of ups and downs. Ah. <sighs> 
Why are you like this? Uh, what am I losing my, losing my oh, from here? Okay, I need to be doing. Like, I want to go 20s. That's what I want to do. But considering my placement. Place. Oh my god. Place. Why are you not okay, well Is that the right one? No, that's the that's the only one I didn't want to do. Cute. Cute. Thank you. Beautiful. Nice. Right, so I got the core swing down. Excellent. Just what I wanted to see. Make these go away. Immune to all that buzzsaw shenanigans that's happening right now. Nice. Sometimes the north blesses you guys with no melting weather around Halloween time. Eh. Uh, my area, I, I, I'm a Florida man. It's always nice and warm outside. Who activated? Why are you like this? Oh, I mean, I guess it's going to mess with their turbines. Okay. What's happening? Oh, my lord. Right in the middle of a core swing. That's anxiety inducing. Someone is paying attention and trying to punish for course swing shenanigans. Are you holding up, friend? <laughs> He's placed a barrel just in case. I can see why. All right, let's do this. Everything is on fire. I think were I they shocking at you? Grimace outfit, a plastic curved aquarium dome, and an airline luggage backpack. What? Guess what I am planning. McDonald's Grimace outfit, a plastic curved aquarium dome, and an airline luggage backpack. I'm not sure. Actually. I'm trying to think. McDonald's Grimace is the. That's the purple jelly bean one, right? Purple jelly bean. Plastic curved aquarium dome. I don't know. Is that incoming or outgoing? Uh, outgoing. Cannon o'clock ish. I just realized this is pre cannon o'clock firing time. Um, fire beams build faster than plasma lasers. We could theoretically have fired that before cannon o'clock. Which is brutal. I get it, crazy. You're going as a purple Among Us character. Okay. That makes sense. <laughs> I understand now. I see. Everything I is on fire! The way. Hint the dome is going to replace the face and the luggage back will be fitted to the back. 
Well, that was incredibly lucky on my part. Just outright deny the... I need more battery power. Hmm. Alright, so... I'm just going to save up here. And... If I do this... I can then line it up with this. Oh, the cannon shot would have collapsed him if it landed in that same spot. I don't think he had the energy to fire another one. Almost, almost. They're shutting down our turbines. Yikes. Oh. No. No. Okay, we gotta aim separately, I think. Can I nail this shot here? Hitting something. What am I hitting? Oh my lord. Batteries. Need more power. Uh, this guy needs to get harassed. He's harassing my teammate. My teammate's having a hard time dealing with him. Uh, someone looking like they're having a hard time over here. Uh, if I plasma beam this and I don't miss, should be able to do a huge amount of damage here. Come on, collapse. Oh my gosh, she's got such tight bracing. A teammate is not focusing fire on that bottom section, and it's making it very difficult to actually finish him off, despite us getting very close. I suspect I'm not going to be able to actually sustain fire with that, with that next weapon. I need to get the upgrade center going. Like, we can collapse this guy here. Got door sniped. That's unfortunate. At least I have another weapon in production. Oh, beautiful. Giving me energy is exactly what I needed right now. Okay. Come on. Cut deep. Oh my gosh. It's so close to collapsing him. We're on his mines. And he hasn't collapsed yet. This is a very well made base. That's what that is. Slightly lower. Okay, I'm gonna build this. I suspect we're not gonna be able to use it for the time being. Uh, let's chuck one of these here. Let's get our hotkeys redone. One, two, three. Hey, there it is. Okay, that's sweet. Okay. Please give me more power generation. I desperately need this. You did. You, you had a very strong base there. You held for very long. How do you choose find games to play? Like, forts lobbies? That just make them and just go. Oh, I upgraded too fast and expended all of my energy. That's a hard yikes. Do we have energy production yet? Kind of. 
And that should be enough power generation for now. Oh, yes! Give me power. Okay. Who's next in line? You. 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 Alright, so we penetrated that and actually eliminated one of his weapons. Which is what we want to see. Taking a lot of hits here. Taking a lot of hits here. Don't know why I built that so quick. Don't mind me. I need to just get damage output here, I think. So I've got more energy than I can spend right now. I'm going to be upgrading my metal income to keep up with it. Keep up with our energy income. Uh, that's the shot I'm looking for. There we go. So that'll be a plasma or a fire beam down, I guess. One more. There we go. Friend, no! You will be missed. I want to have a disabled energy shield here, just so it stops getting destroyed. <laughs> that would be really appreciated. So we've lost just one player. Couple high energy beams going in. Hello. Hello, friend. That's three plasma beam hits. I do not have the ability to take this many plasma beam hits all at once. That is for sure. Let's get these online. I need to rebuild my doors. Thank you, thank you. door or give me death. Usually how that works. Excellent. Get door snipe. Didn't need the door snipe. Uh, my teammate just sliced him off the top. Okay. Place our laser. Get extra doors and all these, because clearly we need the extra doors. Everyone decided to attack you. Uh, yeah, teamwork is good. Not that we were communicating. I just kind of noticed that. Hey, we're all shooting at this one player. Let's all shoot at that one player. It's hilariously effective as a strategy. Focusing fire. I do recommend every time. Telepathic link. Uh, I don't know even know, but that's that's giving us too much credit. Okay. How are we looking on this? Good. Good. Still no idea. I see your puns in chat, Mr. Matt. 
The <laughs> barrel didn't even save you. Well, fair. We gotta have the. Uh, okay, well. No. Well, at least I took him. At least I took his out. Even if I got door sniped on my side. Ooh, that's the sound I want to hear. The sound of shields being disabled. Okay, so now we're looking very well defended at this point. Um, I don't really have anywhere I could expand to. Uh, what technology do I need in order to continue the... Uh, path of destruction that we've laid out here for us. What I can do. Okay, so if I set you here, Then you here, like so. That'll be good. This, of course, can backfire, but I find it unlikely given... Ah, uh, I need to replace this. Just wasted a bit of metal by deleting the selling early. Right, you took that hit from where? Shutting all this down. This is no longer as necessary. Thank you. Alright, so let me get all of this loaded up. How are you looking in terms of energy shields? Well, that's just straight up door snipe. I can kind of remove this in its entirety. does have an energy shield on that. It does not have an energy shield on this, however. No, friend! We have lost... We've lost one of our own. Does it make it? Oh my lord, it makes it. Okay. I'm okay with this. We're definitely hitting metal there, which is going to cause problems for us. Okay, sweet. So we're at maximum power. Oh, I already, oh my teammates already hit that. Oh, that's convenient for me. I can just straight up plaza beam it. He had metal there. Let's fix the whole him having metal for him by blowing up his entire fort. Looks like a nice, solid spot to hit. This player does have a fair amount of machine guns, so I don't expect these EMPs to hit very well. Once you aim these appropriately. Nope. Stop this. Grab these one. He's very angry. Rebuild this guy. <laughs> I'll remove you from the front lines. All right, hit you, then you there. Um. I could really use some swarm missiles. I could use some... Um, I guess shotguns would be good. Let's do... This. Get one of these guys here.
Okay. And hit there. Hit there. It's a little high, but that's fine. Did I miss this? Yes, I did. Lots of screaming in that direction. I think it's the fire beam here that's screaming. But he's also got a shotgun there, I think. He's probably screaming to win on fire. Ooh, that's what I want to see. Okay, that's a solid hit. That's another solid hit. Oh dear. Huh. Is there any way for him to survive this? Like, this is just a ton of damage. Okay, that's some anti air down. He's building energy shields in that position. But we are cutting so deep right now. Um, I do need some more power generation, actually, despite all of this. Goodbye, you. Huh, okay, well, power generation. I can slap this guy here. Here. Uh, what else can I do for power generation? Just build this way, I suppose. Well, that's gonna hurt my power generation a little bit. Just a tad. Okay. Your base is a mess. Uh, makes sense. Um, what do about those energy shields? Yeah, because that's now hitting an energy shield. That's nicing through. That's hitting an energy shield too. It's just internal. Uh oh. Don't do that. Um, I need to fix some of these problems. Okay, that's a plasma beam down. Or a fire beam down. That's more weapons down. So we've, we've hit him really hard there. That's not going to work. Alright, let's do this. I think I have... I think I know what I need to do here. Um... No. energy shield. It's not an energy shield. Damage in. Nope. Not really. Uh, let's get some more of this going. Uh, what does my shot look like? I'm going to have a hard time redesigning this, I think.
So instead of redesigning it, let's do this. Let's make sure this is pulled back as far as it can go. Hello. Got one. That's not enough. Hmm. So is this not designed correctly? I that's can't that can't be designed correctly then. Rip the dream. Let's see two to half. Okay. Can do this. And it's up another, let's see, that's up to here. Yikes. Uh, let's background brace this for the moment. There we go. here. Cross brace this, like so. There we go. Beautiful. That's what I want to see. Now this guy, oh, that's going to chop my energy efficiency down to nothing. Uh, he's building something here. Let's stop that from happening. Let's give him a hard time. Yes, that fits nicely. Now, can I get more goodies over here? I think the answer is yes. This is a huge mess of a base. All right, so if I do this, which is going to have to happen, going to have to happen eventually, I should be able to get some damage done with this guy. Hello. So you gonna Okay, that's one door snipe. Okay. Let's do this. Uh let's get some of this here, yeah. Just so I don't have to worry about thing is going sideways too much. Okay, well. Oh, there goes my flak slash shotgun. You will be missed. The MPs are going to be annoying, that's for sure. I can clear through both of those. Okay. That makes sense. Please disable. I will get you online soon. Online. All right, we're good here. There we go. Deal with that. It's going to take you a bit. I noticed, King. I've been working on that 
trick for a while, actually. One and oof. two and come on. Where's three? There you are. Beautiful. Uh, this is almost ready. So our first volley of cannons worked out pretty well. Let's see if we can keep that pattern going. What's going on here? Oh yeah, just blocked off by this. This was a good shot. Gonna go on a penetrating spree here. Don't have the energy to fire this last one. It'll be a fire beam. Excellent. Isn't that nice how that goes? Hmm. This is beautiful on King. Like, that's going to be the difference maker, I think. That's really convenient of him hitting me with that, because that actually gives me energy, which I desperately need. Desperately? Maybe, maybe that's not the right word, but I definitely need, for sure. Send up another shot here. Deactivate these. One more turbine in there, I'd be happier. Hmm. Oh, cannon. You will be missed. He's sitting there waiting to door snipe me. Not a big surprise. Is this gonna fall? That's gonna fall. Leaving this guy exposed. Oh well. Sell you off. Good news is, because this is a 2v1, uh, while I seem to be at a, a sort of stalemate with my opponent here, it's the stalemate is in our favor. Because a stalemate in our and a stalemate means okay, can I slide this? I need to adjust this. I think make this more defensible. A stalemate means that there's not a whole. It means that this can happen. While I'm trading blows with my opponent, my teammate is doing great and glorious things. So now that this has happened, I can just kind of come through with the follow-up and we slice him off. Did it take a while for that point to happen? Yes, but it was beautiful. This is like these new commanders actually create new strategies for us. And this is amazing. That is absolutely amazing. Look at this. The sheer destruction. <laughs> this poor guy. He's rebuilt so much, he barely has defenses on his weapons anymore. And that's that's one of the reasons why we kept blowing him up. But I want to see the nukes in slow motion. We actually got a drunk nuke here. Ooh. The sh just the carnage, the destruction is amazing. And then here come the follow-up lasers. It's a beautiful shot, stripping the core. 
two more shots. We're all hitting the same strut. <laughs> uh, that's great. Beautiful. Ladies and gentlemen, that's the power of the new Commander's update. I love it. I love every moment of it. Alright guys, now oh, I, I know it has been a short stream, but I do have some things I want to get taken care of. Although I will probably be on something like uh, Star Wars Squadrons a little bit later just for my own pleasure time, but I must be winding down here. It has been an excellent live stream. I uh, look forward to seeing the VOD of it come up soon. But for now, have a good one, everyone. And I will see you guys later.